You got it. Please transmit your flight plan. Thank you. Cargo is scrap material. Destination is the Milshan star system. Oh, you appear to have some excess cargo mass. Yeah, we got a little carried away. There will be a surcharge on the bill sent to the Kukai Foundation. Will that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Have a safe journey. I had a feeling that notice. Well, we did pick up some extra junk. Ah, nothing to worry about, right? We always go over the limit. That's true. You could have billed Vector for it. You crazy? Things are already complicated enough as is. Mm-hmm. to be kidding me this is ridiculous but, but there's nothing i can do about it I, i'm just passing on the orders and i'm saying those orders are unacceptable oh forget it it's not doing me any good talking to you get the director on the line now yes ma'am just a moment please chief did you see how scared she was you're even scaring me you don't have to yell, you know? What do you expect? How could you expect me not to yell about this? Uh, mm -hmm. Director, what is the meaning of this? It means exactly what it says. I see. Unless this is a figment of my imagination, it looks like it says that as soon as Cosmos receives her secondary equipment, we're to turn her over to the second R&D division on second Milsha and return immediately to headquarters. Like I said, it means exactly what it says. This was the plan from the beginning. I don't see why this is such a problem. Director! Xion, please don't give me a hard time about this. I understand how you feel. But I've read your report, and it appears as though there are no major problems with Cosmos. No, sir. You don't understand at all. 
Are you listening to me? She's moving around on her own accord. I can't turn her over to the second division before determining the cause. It's still far too dangerous to use her at full battle spec. And besides, you should know full well that I understand her better than anyone else. <sighs> Togashi informed me about what happened on the Woglinde. Fortunately, we didn't suffer any human casualties, but it sounded like it could have been catastrophic. Do you really expect me to leave you and the others in such circumstances? I'm well aware of the risks. Even so! Director! All right. Have it your way. I'll smooth things over with the people upstairs. Miyuki can take care of the paperwork. Thank you, sir. One condition. Don't do anything foolish. The moment you sense even the slightest bit of danger, get out of there immediately. I don't ever want to see a repeat of what happened two years ago. Got it? Understood, sir. Hey, good going, Chi! I just did what I had to do. I'm just so glad that you're safe. Oh, you should have notified us sooner that you were okay. Hmm. The military sent us a notice saying that you were killed in the skirmish. The whole department was in an uproar. You have a lot of admirers. Oh, come on. Stop joking around. No, it's true. So, what about me? <laughs> oh, hey, Alan. Didn't see you there. Didn't see me here? Hey, I was missing too, you know. You're kidding. I didn't even notice. Didn't notice? Well, what about the others? No one said a thing. Guess uh... they just forgot about you. You don't really make a strong impression on people. But hey, it's great that you're okay too, I guess. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a whole lot better. <sighs> Take a look at this. Wow. I had no idea there are ships that small that can enter hyperspace. Watch it! Do you know who those guys are? No idea. Doesn't look like one of our products. What about the other small ship? I'm sorry, I have no idea. There's a distress call coming from the small ship. Why are we helping them? We've got enough trouble just dealing with you guys. 